Go, who said it was a classic smash and grab? Um, listen, every time we come away from home and you win 1-0, I, I love those kind of results. It beat beating a team 2-3-0. Um, what we was today, um, we was, well, we defended well as a group. Yes, they had a couple of chances in the first half, which Dan Crane pulled off a couple of good saves, but we've had our chances in the game as well. Um, but I, I, listen, I take nothing away from the boys. I think that the effort today, the desire, uh, is unquestionable. Uh, I've, looking from an attacking point of view, were you a bit disappointed that Henson didn't try and attack a bit more, uh, attacking threat during the game? I put those demands on, on the team every game, that in the final third, uh, the one thing I did, we did talk about and we did try and work on in training on Thursday was that when we get into the final third, especially with Big Vinny and Danny Glover starting today, is that we try and put the ball in the box as much as possible. And the first 15 minutes of the game today, we took the game to Frickley, and um, you know, but we, we had a spell in that first half where Frickley really come out at us, and we had to dig deep. And I said to the lads at half time, I said, we're not to get frustrated today. Uh, we know we can be better on the ball because that's what we demand every week. But we just make sure we stick to the formation, we stick to our guns, and we come away with the result today. During the first half, we got quite niggly. Were you a bit worried about some of the players and perhaps losing the temper? I thought the referee refereed the game fairly well today. Um, it was frustrating at times because it felt that the game was stop start in periods. Um, but in saying that, you know that we, we have to put up with that. We, the referee is not going to uh, change his mind. He's not going to change his decision. And I said that to the boys at half time. I said it's evident that you're getting really frustrated with the referee because things are going against us for periods in that first half. And I just said you just got to calm down. The referee is not going to change his decision. He's not going to change his mind. Get on with it um, and defend defend properly. Vinny was back in the squad today, what was the reason behind that? I just wanted to change it up today, looking at Frickley here with the slope, um, Vinny's massive for us as you know in, a, in both boxes and what Frickley do very well here is especially coming down the slope, um, they put the ball on you very quickly, um, they play for long throw-ins as you've seen in the second half and they play for set pieces, corners and I just thought I went with Vinny over Tony today just for Vinny's aerial presence and what he may give us um, going forward as well. In the second half, I had a big talking point with Dan Crane. What was your initial reaction when you first saw that? My initial reaction was he, ha he had no choice but to come for that ball. Um, obviously, the, the forward was a little bit quicker in getting there. I don't think Dan Crane was ultimately that late. Um, but what I did realise straight away, that there was two de defenders that was also covering round. And to be fair, the guy went away from goal as well, which was key. If he was through on goal, then it might have been a little bit different. But he pushed the ball wide of the goal, and I, I thought there was two de two defenders that would have got back anyway. So I think, the, like I said, the ref uh, refereed the game superbly. Today. Were you happy with the the, set, the winning goal? Oh but yes, definitely. And and Danny Danny Glover deserves that because he's been working so hard, Danny. And Danny will be the first to admit that he's still trying to find his way into the games at the moment with his fitness and his touch and everything. But it's like anything. I used to be a forward myself, and the more you play the more consistent your games come. And what Danny Glover does, if he gets a chance in front of goal, he'll certainly put it in the back of the net. Obviously, we've got a game on Monday against Ilkeston again. Are you looking to change some the squad, bring players in? Well, to be honest, we, we're not in a position where we can change the squad, unfortunately. Um, and it's not like I would. I've said to the boys from day one when we when we took charge that we're going to try and get some continuity and consistency. And I think that shows in the period of games that we've taken. And I think it's also showing in the results as well. If you can keep a settled squad and, and, and that consistency going forward, it helps with, with morale. But the one thing we are, we are short in the squad at the minute of a couple. Because like today, you know, another day, another referee might sent Dan Crane off there, it just leaves us a bit short in the squad, so we're, we've got the game on Monday, we're going to have to go with what we've got on Monday, but we'll have to uh, sit down and seriously think about bringing a couple of players in. You must be pleased with the reaction after the disappointing defeat against Nantwich, though. I said that to the boys before the game, I said, listen, it's how you bounce back after a disappointing p performance, not so much the defeat, it was the performance. I can take uh, a team beating us um, as long as we can hold our hands up after the game and say, we give it our all, we turned up, and if they were the better team on the day, then, but I just didn't think we, we turned up last week, last Saturday. That was the most disappointing thing, and I was actually looking forward to bouncing back on Tuesday at Michelover. unfortunately it was called off, so I knew Going into Thursday night's training session, it was massive to pick the lads back up and go into today's game really positive. Finally, you got three home games, two in the league and one in the cup. You must be pleased to come back to Keys Park for a, quite more than a week. 
Yeah, definitely. It's always great playing at home, and I've said it all along. Even the supporters that came today, the, you can see everybody's unified. That the supporters got behind the lads. You've seen the supporters' reaction after the game, and it's going to be massive now having a run of games at home. They're going to be like our 12th man, and all I'll say is anything can happen from here on in. We're taking it game by game, and that's all we can do at the moment. But we win Monday. I think we go two points off players, and who knows from that point. Thank you, Gary. Cheers.